Hi there Gemini, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Gemini, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Gemini please? Gemini. Past energy for Gemini. So it's the most recent past, but you could be going through it now. So just take it as is. So it isn't like time sensitive, okay? So the past energy for Gemini. 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 Okay, one more. Let's just get one more. Gemini. Okay. So the past energy for Gemini, please. It's the Three of Cups, the Chariot, And the Page of Wands, okay. And the present energy for Gemini, Strength. But the Ace of Swords in reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse. And um, the future energy is the Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands in reverse, but with the Magician and the overall energy for the reading for Gemini. The Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands talks about waiting or like a delay. So when I clarify, I'll gain more insight. Especially when I compare it to the rest of the cards. Now when I look at the past, it's, it's quite positive. It's like embarking on a brand new beginning. And the chariot is someone that makes a choice and moves forward, okay, with determination. And I see victory and success with the Three of Cups, the Chariot, and the Page of Wands. I see somebody wanting there to be victory and success. So when I clarify again, I'll gain more insight. But when I look at the present energy, so you could share a strong bond with someone, okay? Or there, there could be someone that feels quite strongly towards you. And I see them having a desire to express how they feel, but they're not speaking their truth with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like there is someone that's holding on to this connection. It's very near and dear to their heart, okay? With the Four of Pentacles. Um, but yet they're not expressing how they feel and they're not rushing in passionately with the Knight of Wands in reverse. But I see them wanting to manifest this connection into the 3D with the Magician or like wanting things to work out, wanting there to be victory and success. So three could be a significant number, but um, let me clarify the three of wands before I say anything else. So you could be dealing with a water sign, you could be dealing with a Cancer, it's Leo, Aquarius, for now. So let me clarify the Three of Wands for the overall energy, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands for Gemini. The Three of Wands for Gemini. Okay, one more. The Three of Wands for Gemini. Okay. Clarifying the Three of Wands. The Hangman in reverse. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Cups.
the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Moon in reverse. So I feel like there is someone that's waiting because they lack clarity, uh, possibly regarding this situation. So you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. You're someone that's very self-focused. You could be taking great care of yourself. It's possible that you could be healing from the past with the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to express how they feel, but yet at the same time there is dissatisfaction. Someone could be feeling unhappy, especially if they're not speaking their truth with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So they could be lacking clarity regarding the situation. Even though things are not quite hidden in the dark though with the Moon card in reverse. Be in regards to the past as well but let's see let me clarify the three of cups i see you kind of healing from the past the sun in reverse yeah like this is someone that's wanting there to be victory and success possibly a reconciliation but being quite unhappy that things didn't take a turn for the positive strength in reverse so if this is someone that had to make a choice to move forward with determination, there could have been like fears. Um, this is a, the Five of Wands is showing up in reverse. So this could have been like, like having to overcome any sort of conflict or internal conflict. So let me clarify the Chariot. The Fool. So I do see the potential for a brand new beginning with the Fool. And someone having to make a choice and move forward towards this brand new beginning. But I don't see someone walking away or detaching emotionally. But yeah, this is really talking about like the potential for a brand new passionate beginning with the chariot. So this could have been the a choice that you had to make. Okay? Because you could have, I see you kind of like healing from the past. But let me clarify the page of wands. You could have taken like took some time as well with the three of wands the king of pentacles but the eight of pentacles in reverse so there was that potential for stability but it, there could be some confusion so even though there's this potential for a brand new passionate beginning okay i see again stability but yet there being confusion and someone not taking action because there is uncertainty or confusion. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So let me clarify strength. Yeah, like the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's confusion. That's too many cards. The Five of Cups. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Cups. So, I see someone like healing from the past. So that could be you or the per your person um, having trouble healing from this disconnect. Okay, so just take it as is. And um, if this is you healing, I see it like taking some time. And with the present energy, I see there being confusion. But with the Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I feel like there is someone that's feeling the loss of the, this connection. They could be feeling remorse. Even though I do see like the potential for a brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So let me uh, clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse before I say anything else. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Swords in Reverse. Hmm. The Ten of Swords. I feel like there is someone that's not speaking their truth, especially if they are in pain. Okay, with the Ten of Swords. It's like someone having to overcome feeling left out in the cold or overcome pain with the Three of Swords in Reverse. I feel like they're not speaking their truth, though. 
They could be feeling the loss of this connection. They could be feeling remorse. Okay. That's why the Ten of Cups is showing up in reverse. I feel like there's someone that's lacking clarity regarding this situation. They could have clarity regarding their feelings, though, with the Moon in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So let me clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, like I... Hmm. I don't see someone detaching or moving on, but at the same time, I don't see them expressing themselves emotionally with the Knight of Cups in reverse, even though there may be a desire to do so. But it's like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is like somebody wanting things to take a turn for the positive. It's talking about like a fated encounter, even time again, the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So let me clarify the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Cups in reverse. The Empress in reverse. So there is an acknowledgement of a connection. And I feel like this connection could be very near and dear to someone's heart. But they're keeping their feelings to themselves. So there could be like insecurities or even uncertainty. But it's like they're wanting to be open though with the Nine of Wands in reverse. They're wanting to take down any sort of walls or barriers. But again, it requires effort, right? So let me clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse, like putting in the work. The Four of Wands, so there is that potential for stability, okay? Four could be a significant number. Um, yeah, this is really, oh boy. So there is someone that's not being direct about their feelings. So there is that potential for stability, for balance, right? With justice. But the Queen of Swords is showing up in reverse with the Knight of Wands in reverse. So I don't see someone rushing in. Even though there could like be a desire to make things right, to balance things out. Someone's not being direct about their feelings with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is also talking about like if this is someone that is communicating. It's like kind of um, like twisting the truth. Which is interesting. Like not being quite honest. So let me clarify the magician. Judgment. Yeah, like this is someone that's wanting to manifest. Oh, look at that. It's like the Queen of Swords and the Okay, let's see. What is this card? The Page of Wands. So it's like the Page of Wands, the Page of Wands again. Let me get another card though. Yeah, like this is someone that's wanting to manifest this connection into the 3D. So judgment talks about like someone having to make a profound choice. Again, judgment talks about like a fated encounter. But with the King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse, you, you maybe um, there may not be communication between you and this person or someone's not being direct about how they feel. Um, the Page of Wands, so there is that potential for something new. and I But I see someone weighing their options trying to figure out what to do okay like I see that potential for a brand new beginning with the chariot the fool the eight of cups in reverse and the ace of wands okay but it's like so this could even be you healing from the past but at the same time I feel like there's someone that could be waiting maybe they lack clarity like on what to do even though they may have clarity regarding their feelings So this could very well be someone having to let go of pain. So let me... Like this is someone that's... This couldn't be what you want, honesty. Right? Regarding the situation. But let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot for Gemini, please. Gemini. 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 
Okay, one more. Gemini. Okay, so Gemini. The Eight of Swords. Okay, the Four of Swords. Someone's up in their headspace, so there could be like a lot of overthinking. Um, so they are thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation with the Four of Swords. Maybe this person's trying to gain insight into the way you feel towards them. So four showed up a lot. That could be a significant number. I see somebody wanting to take action with the Knight of Swords. Wow, all these swords. Page of Swords talks about clarity, communication, the Emperor and temperance i see somebody um remaining patient with the emperor and temperance trying to remain balanced they could be seeing you as a very patient and balanced person and there you go the eight of cups someone could seem like they're emotionally distant because i feel like there's someone that's not being quite honest about how they feel with the seven of swords there's a lot of swords so you could be dealing with another air sign okay and um let me get messages from the oracle deck I see Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces. Oh, that's too many cards. Libra. Any of the fixed signs, Taurus. Um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. One more. Okay. So card number 42, which is six, rest and, rel and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So this could be talking about like, there could be a break between you and this person's a separation, but, or that rest and relaxation is essential. Card number 38, is that eight? 30? No, it's 18, sorry. Card number 18, which is nine, embrace your emotions, allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So this is like someone that's having to speak their truth, embrace their emotions. Um, card number 48, which is 12 or three, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it, okay? And let me get messages from the Romance Angel deck for Gemini. 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 So this could be talking about healing even with the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. And... So there is that potential, like, so if, especially if this is someone that you're dealing with now, okay, or that potential for something new. All right, and let me get one more card from the Soul Helper deck. So it's card number 26, which is eight. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. Okay. And card number 23, which is five. Release your inner rebel. Be yourself and create your own universe. Okay. So you could be very self-focused. So this could even be you like having clarity, knowing your truth. So the realm of your truth is opening up. Release your inner rebel. Be yourself and create your own universe. Awesome. Okay. So that's my reading for you, Gemini, and I'll see you next time.